Hello, ladies and gentlemen, you beautiful, beautiful people. Welcome back to another video. I hope you all are having a fantastic day. If you could please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button, I would really appreciate it. I've got a very exciting video for you guys today. In today's video, I'm going to be going over all of the WWE action figures that we will possibly be seeing tomorrow morning. Now, straight off the bat, guys, I know a few of you are going to know what I'm talking about, but I also know a few of you have no idea what I'm talking about. So, straight up, if you guys follow me on Instagram and you check out my stories, you already know, last night I posted on my story that tomorrow morning on WWE.com, there will be some WWE action figure reveals. How do I know that? Shout out to the Mattel forums. Shout out to Action Figure Attack. And also, shout out to this person right here, K-Y-O-K-E-N. They asked a question on the Mattel forums, and Action Figure Attack is always over there answering as many questions as he could. But straight up, will we see the final products of Ultimate Edition 8 before they ship from ringside? Picks are currently, this is action figure tax response of response. Picks are currently scheduled to drop on WWE.com Saturday morning, Ultimate Edition 8, and more. So straight off the bat, guys, we are guaranteed to be seeing Ultimate Edition 8. Now, pretty much what I would normally do in these types of videos, I would go over all of the WWE action figures that we know over know of, go over all the leaks and things like that. But I didn't want to go ahead and make a 20-minute video going over everything. So basically in this video, I am going to be going over the ones that we most likely will see like have a better chance of being shown you know than going over every single leak because I feel like that's going to be a little bit too much and I don't want to get people too excited if we don't end up seeing it because you guys know the disaster that happened you know what was it on the 26th we were supposed to see stuff and ended up seeing what a Chelsea Green a basic so it was kind of a letdown but now we are guaranteed to be seeing some figures tomorrow already a good sign since we we are going to finally be seeing Ultimate Edition Series 8. Uh, we already, well, we're going to be going over all the images, like I said, of stuff we should see and stuff I think we will see. Uh, but I originally, this was supposed to be out earlier. I do apologize about that, guys. I was very busy at work today. Then when I got off, you know, I found out that Jeremy from Jazzwares was trolling us. There was going to be a different video because there was a Cody Rhodes figure. Ended up being fake. He said that he was going to be posting another image. It is over an hour now still is nothing out there so if more news comes out i'm just going to upload another video for you guys tonight but basically guys stay tuned for tomorrow because tomorrow morning sometime i will have a video uploaded for you guys taking a look at all the wwe action figures we end up seeing but enough talking let's just finally get straight into the video so straight off the bat guys already straight up confirmed is anonymous thank you for the message straight up already confirmed is ultimate edition series 8 that like we already mentioned we have the macho man in a previous video out uh, the the day on the 26th where we saw the chelsea green we also saw the macho man jacket so we already know what that is going to look like but these were just the render images so we are finally going to see the official images and i'm very excited number one this macho man i mean you can't go wrong with any macho man figure they are always i'm always a huge fan of them but of course this one is obviously going to be the more popular one out of series eight and that is the edge and i'm extremely excited to see this one i really want to see how the second interchangeable head uh turns out because from the render image it, it just looks scary to me we all know mattel's versions of heads aren't always the best however in his new elite 83 you know the older version of edge that the face scan isn't that bad and this is an older face uh, this is you know a more updated edge so i definitely have a good feeling about the one that's already on it but the interchangeable head i definitely think it's going to be a little bit wild looking uh but uh, nonetheless i'm st i'm still very very excited to see the final product of this can't wait to get my hands on this guys i know you guys want it as well but of course next Next up, Elite 85. These are, you know, we already did videos on these in the past, guys. We already know the Elites for 85, 86, and whatnot. But this one, I would definitely have to think, uh, you know, 84 is already in stock. People already have that. 85 isn't even up for pre-order yet. So I'm sure they have to have the final images. I'm sure tomorrow morning, we're going to end up seeing pre-orders, and they most likely will be coming in stock 
work within a month, latest two months. So I'm sure we're going to see some images. We all, we already have images of Karrion Cross, Alistair Black, Liv Morgan, and Kama. Um, also, The Undertaker. The only two images we don't have is the Chase uh, uh, Alistair Black, the Bray Wyatt, and the Becky Lynch. So we're just going to have to wait and see what those do, what those two do look like. However, these are the render images of, you know, Undertaker, Karrion Cross, Alistair Black, Kama, and Liv Morgan. We all know Kama is going to be the collector's edition. So that is really, really cool. Can't wait to see. I'm really curious to know what the Becky Lynch attire is going to be. Also, you know, Bray Wyatt. I mean, what else can they really do with him, you know, besides, you know, the blue title? We're just going to have to wait and see, guys. Uh, but yeah, this I definitely think we are going to see. Now, the next slide, I just wanted to add it in just in case because, guys, we already saw images of the regular version Triple H and the Chase version Triple H. We do know by the leaks that this is going to be the SummerSlam wave. Now, now, we pretty much already know what the Carmella attire is going to be. That's already locked in, you know, just type in Carmella SummerSlam. It's the image on screen right now. Psycho Sid, we know what that attire is going to be. Iron Sheik, we pretty much know what he's going to be. The Fiend, again, why? Uh, Seth Rollins, we have like three different versions that we don't have yet. So it's kind of, it's it's going to be, I, I really hope we do see, see some renders because I'm really curious to know what Seth Rollins we are actually going to get. And Miz, I am still on the fence with because I have no idea which version it could actually be. So this one right here, this this is going to be a possibility, but straight off the bat, Ultimate Edition, like I said, already confirmed, but 85, I think they have no choice but to show them. Now, of course, like I said, guys, we already saw images of the Triple H, so that's a given right there. Uh, we saw these, what, like a month, maybe two months ago, so they, they have to show, if not all, they have to show at least one or two from the Wave guys. Uh, and then this one, which is kind of odd to me that not a lot of people are talking about this is obviously going to be the next elite two pack and i don't see many people talking about this one which is very disappointing to me uh, i mean it's jeff hardy triple h two of course top guys gonna be coming with the intercontinental championship you know the ruthless aggression one um it also supposed to come with a mesh shirt for jeff hardy so this Two pack straight off the bat, guys, is beautiful. So I definitely think we are going to see this. I need to update my phone. I should have turned on airplane mode. I forgot to do it before I started the video so we didn't get any interruptions. I apologize for that. But, um, what was I saying? This is this is a really good Elite 2 pack, guys. Uh, I'm, I'm so mad at myself because my mind just went blank. I'm pretty sure I was saying something important. But uh, yeah, like, yeah, I remember now. Uh, there ha The last 2 pack, of course, was Mr. T, Roddy Piper. Uh, you know, I don't even think this one went up for pre-order yet, this Jeff and Triple H 2 pack. So obviously it is going to be, you know obviously done you know a lot of pre-orders have been laid especially you know with the elites and now the elite two pack some basics just went up today which we are going to be talking about in a second so definitely like 100 percent i definitely think we are going to see the finished product of this two pack right here can't wait to get my hands on it i really really can't and hopefully please ringside i know i'm not sponsored by you i'm no i'm with wrestling collector shop but they only had a few amount and i didn't get my chance at it and then when i tried to get the elite two pack of roddy piper and mr t from you guys you already sold out so if anyone out there wants to hook up your boy with that two pack i would greatly appreciate it but but please Make sure you get more stock this time because I don't know how the hell that two-pack sold out so fast last time, guys. Uh, but next up on the list, guys, Fan Takeover Series 2. We already know the attires, obviously. The renders are on screen. Christian, uh, you know, Randy Orton, X-Pac, and Johnny Gargano. Uh, Fan Takeover Series 1. Some people already have theirs right now. Uh, there was a little delay with Ricky the Dragon Steamboat for whatever reason. I missed him when he went up yesterday. He is supposed to be in stock like at the end of this month. Uh, so so there, uh, you know, the others in the set uh, are on back order until next month. I think at the end of next month they'll be in stock again. Uh, but yeah, series two, you know, it was a. It's been a while since we last saw the render images. Um, so I, I believe that action figure set, uh, action figure attack set on the forums that these were gonna be up on Amazon in the spring. So I'm sure we're going to see some kind of finished product, maybe a more updated version of these figures, but definitely I, I hope we see images of them 
even though we are still very upset at that Christian uh, figure because we know the rightful, rightful winner that should have won. So straight off the bat, I really don't want to take a look at these much longer because just staring at that Christian makes me so upset because like I said, we all know what attire Christian should have won. But Basic Series 119, ladies and gentlemen, these actually went up today. Uh, and of course, you know, I'm sure Elite 85 is going to go up tomorrow, like I said. Uh, but Basic Series 119, you guys remember we already did a leaked video on this as well so i definitely think we will be seeing some images of these whether it be you know finished images or render images or something but i'm really really excited for of course uh dijakovic i want to see if the triple h is going to be a suited version uh you know lacey evans that's really cool john cena and uh uh john cena and randy Orton. we're just gonna have to wait and see what attires they are going to be but uh yeah, does anyone re really care about those not really but pretty good pretty good wave uh of course if the Triple H is a suited version, I think that'll be a popular sell. Uh, remember, I know this is kind of off topic, but really isn't. We were supposed to get a Triple H in a suit in the NXT line. I know that was a few years ago, but maybe they could come out with it again. I know we already got a suited Triple H before, but we we are in need of another suited figure, whether it be basic, guys. It doesn't really matter. Suited figures are awesome. But next up, I threw this in too, just, just because I really want to see that Scarlet basic. I want to know how bad or how good they do the face scan and i want to see what sean michaels version they are going to be going with as well uh but yeah basic 120 this is 50 50 you might see it might not uh but i just wanted to throw it in and i think that's everything we added for this video yeah that was everything guys so like i said didn't want to do you know a 30 minute video going over every single leak everything just wanted to add in the video everything that i think will be a good possible possibility but we already know we are definitely going to be some see some figure reveals tomorrow so make sure you have those post notifications on guys i'll make the video as soon as i could as soon as i see all the images i'll be working on it trying to get the video out to you guys as fast as possible but if you enjoyed this video if you could please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button let me know what you were hoping to see tomorrow if you are a new viewer please subscribe for more i love each and every one of you and i'll see you guys tomorrow